Hey everybody, um, hope you're doing well. Hope things are going good for you. Um, getting ready to go out in the trap line, check some traps, a couple traps. Uh, I might put out a couple, couple more bobcat sets. Um, just uh, stuff real close to the house here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll get something running through. Uh, but this weather's crazy. It's real light rain right now. It's like rain and freezing rain. It's this is crazy. One minute it's <laughs> one time it's like zero, and the next time it's freezing rain and rain and crazy weather. But that's how it goes. Well, we're gonna pray here and then we're gonna get on down the line. All right. Dear Lord, we thank you again for all you do. Thank you for your blessings. Just continue to be with each one of us. Um, those who are, who are watching this, Lord, I pray that you just be with them and strengthen them. Um, just give them a good day. Uh, thank you for all you do, all your blessings, and uh, what you're going to do for each one of us. Those who are struggling, Lord, I pray that you just help them and encourage them. Um, just thank you again for loving us and ask these things in Jesus name amen all right guys well we're gonna head on down the line hopefully we got something all right later Hopefully you guys saw that. Um, there was several elk right, right in here. Uh, that cow just came out and was standing right there. But there was several of them in, when I came in here. Pretty cool. It's always good to see the elk. Um, good to see the wolves I haven't killed them all. So, well, I just thought I'd show you that. All right, later. All right, everybody. So we're back. Um, nothing, nothing today. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing them elk. Uh, at least that one elk. <laughs> um, yeah, no critters today. Uh, that's all right. Um, that's just how it goes, especially on a small little line. Um, and right here around within about a mile of the house here um, I've already caught nine coyotes out of here so and you always have some coming back in and that but I caught the majority of them out right here around the house so that's just uh, you know maybe we'll get some coming through um, I also thought I'd share a little tip um, I always carry uh, with me um, on a mountain line. Well, every day I carry it um, a piece of paracord about eight, ten feet long. Um, obviously, a knife all the time, and a lighter. And I use a um, Zippo lighter. And I thought I'd show you this. Um, I actually got this idea quite a while from a guy who uh, lives in Alaska it's, uh, if you ever if you get a chance go check him out he's a good man it's uh, far north bushcraft and survival Lonnie um, good good man him and his wife Connie um, they uh, they make a lot of good videos up there um, but um, I'm gonna show you this it's a Zippo lighter um, and it just has a piece of bicycle inner tube over top of it helps uh, keep the fluid from evaporating out as quick um, it's the piece I cut off um, you know hopefully you can 
see what I mean you know it's just a small small piece sorry about that I think the camera was off there but it's just a small little piece of pair or of a inner tube and it just helps keep that keeps the lid from coming open too on you in your pocket so um just thought I'd share that little tip and uh, Lonnie uh, if you're watching this uh, keep on making the good videos you got some good stuff and I always appreciate watching them um, yeah so I guess with that being said guys take care God bless and uh, we'll catch you on the next one have a good one